Hey, everyone. Welcome to 100% Financial Freedom YouTube channel, where we solve all your financial problems. Join us as we provide expert guidance and solutions to help you achieve financial independence. Make sure to stay and watch this video till the end to uncover valuable insights and strategies. Don't forget to hit the like button with a thumbs up to help YouTube recommend this video to more people, allowing us to reach and assist a wider audience. Also, remember to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Let's begin your journey towards financial freedom together. Today's IRS tax refund update covers the ongoing refund delays affecting millions of taxpayers, even after the tax filing season has ended. We will address top issues, including the 570 tax transcript code and steps to ensure your refund is not on hold due to specific problems. Additionally, we will explore ways to resolve these delays. As of May, the backlog of unprocessed tax returns remains over 3 million, with delays expected to continue into summer and fall. Many taxpayers report minimal help from the IRS, and the taxpayer advocate is not taking cases. However, some have found success by reaching out to their congressional representative or senator's office for assistance. We strongly recommend this approach for those still experiencing delays. When checking refund status results, some taxpayers encounter different tax topic codes. Tax topic 152 indicates your tax return is being processed. No issues are implied. Tax topic 151 indicates a potential issue with your return, likely resulting in a refund adjustment. Tax topic 203 indicates your refund will be adjusted and applied to outstanding debts, such as past due child support, state income tax debt, or other federal agency debt. A letter will be sent with more information. It's important to note that the tax topic code you encounter may disappear without indicating any issue with your return. Also, refund status results may not always update, even after the tax refund has been issued. Therefore, check your tax transcripts for the most up-to-date information, and remember your refund will not be released unless you encounter an 846 code on your transcript. Many taxpayers experiencing refund delays encounter the 570 code on their tax transcripts. This code represents a hold on your tax return that requires further examination, possibly needing additional paperwork before processing can continue. The hold could result from various issues, including random reviews, discrepancies identified by the IRS computer system, ID verification, or even an audit. A common scenario involves taxpayers who withdrew from their retirement accounts in 2023. The IRS often flags these returns for further review because the withdrawals are not considered normal income, leading to delays. For those impacted by the 570 code and who receive a generic 60-day notice from the IRS, it often means the IRS has not yet processed your employer's wage information needed to match against your tax return for accuracy. One commonly unknown step to avoid delays is verifying your wage information. Employers send their wage information to the Social Security Administration SA, which then reviews and forwards it to the IRS. Delays often occur because the IRS does not process this wage information timely. To ensure your wage information has been submitted one, visit the Social Security website and log into your account. If you have not created an account, you will need to do so first. 2. Navigate to your Social Security homepage and scroll to the bottom to click on Review Your Full Earnings Record 3. On the Earnings Record page, match your tax forms with the reported 2023 earnings for accuracy. If you do not see your wages or there is a discrepancy, this is likely the cause of your delay and will need to be addressed. This discrepancy could result from several issues, such as your employer filing wage information under the wrong social security number, a data error in reporting wages, or changes in your personal information e.g., but recent marriage or divorce and a subsequent name change that wasn't reported to the Social Security Administration. If you identify any issues with your reported wages 1. Contact the Social Security Administration SSA report the discrepancy and provide any necessary documentation to correct the information. 2. Contact the IRS inform them of the issue with your wage information and provide any documentation they may require to resolve the discrepancy. Let us know in the comments section below about your ongoing tax issues. We will continue to monitor the situation and provide further updates. For continuous updates, click the thumbs up and subscribe button below. Thank you for watching. Now, let's talk about an amazing opportunity. We're hosting a $1,000 giveaway. To participate, 
Follow these four simple steps. 1. Subscribe to the 100% Financial Freedom Channel. 2. Click on the bell icon to receive notifications. 3. Like this video to support our cause. And 4. Comment I love 100% Financial Freedom in the comment section. We will randomly select two lucky winners, and the giveaway date will be announced soon. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. We hope you found this information valuable. 100% Financial Freedom is here to support you in good and difficult times. Take care and have a great day. Stay tuned for our next video coming soon. Today's IRS tax refund update will discuss the latest developments in ongoing tax refund delays affecting millions. We'll share news from viewers who have recently seen progress in resolving their issues and highlight a recommended step for getting assistance that is proving effective for many tax filers. We'll also recap some of the top letters received by those still experiencing delays. Many viewers have struggled to resolve their issues through IRS phone representatives, and with the Taxpayer Advocate Service not accepting new cases until June, options for assistance have been limited. Recently, we have recommended that viewers contact their local congressional representative or senator for help with their tax refund issues. We have received reports from numerous viewers who have made progress after reaching out to their congressional representatives. These viewers have received specific requests from the IRS for documentation or have had their refunds cleared for release, indicated by the 846 code on their tax transcripts. Some have shared email correspondences and tax transcripts confirming this progress. We strongly recommend viewers who have not yet sought assistance to do so immediately. While results may vary, contacting your congressional representative could expedite the resolution of your issue. To find your local congressional representative, visit the official House of Representatives website and enter your zip code to get directed to your local representative's office. Many viewers continue to report seeing either the 570 or 971 codes, or both, on their tax transcripts. If both codes appear with the same date, it means the IRS has resolved the issue and the refund will be processed in the coming weeks. If the codes appear with separate dates, the IRS is still working on the issue and a notice has been sent, which should arrive by the date next to the 971 code. The 570 code can appear for various reasons, including the IRS detecting a potential issue or setting the return aside for further examination, such as wage verification. Recently, there has been an increase in the IRS requesting wage documentation, particularly from those receiving assistance from their congressional representatives. The requested documents often include W-2 and 1099 forms, and there has been a notable increase in requests for 1099-R forms for retirement account withdrawals. While employers and financial institutions send copies of these forms to the IRS, there is often a delay in the IRS processing them which prevents verification of the information submitted on tax returns. This leads to additional delays. As a result, many taxpayers are receiving the 12C letter, which requests wage documents, retirement distribution forms, and even gambling winnings. It is crucial to send these documents back to the IRS promptly to continue processing your tax return. The turnaround time is approximately six to eight weeks after the IRS receives the documentation, 